Hello and welcome to Gunsmith Insights uh, with me, Richard Seabrook. I am the designer and developer of Gunsmith and the owner of SCT Game Studio, also Seacop Technologies, but I changed this to SCT because it's easier to remember. Um, I thought today we could have a look back at the early, early, super early access version of Gunsmith. Um, this is way before we launched and we're just doing some concepts. And I hopefully want this to be part of a uh, larger series of videos that I can show you all as we develop the game. Uh, but I thought today we'd have a look back at the past. Um, and this is way before we released. So I'm going to hop in right now, just because I'm on the main menu. Barely working buttons. Um, a load of stuff crashed before um, I even started the game, but here we are. Um, hopefully it works. I'm not sure. This is super early. Um, so yeah, this was the very first. Um, very first um, version we ever made, myself and Ed. Um, these were just concepts at the time. This is one of the first things we put out um, on the web, um, on IndieDB, and um, we only had these buttons to rotate. Oh, that's all we had. Um, I can't even remember the control myself. What's the thing on? There we go, right. So you can rotate and move. I think we had a G, G with then spawn things, just a little, um, little practice to see if our belts were working or not. And you could just keep going, purely testing out, see what was working. Um, there's a little bit of Melvin Solid music in here, I think I'll have to dub over. Just use it as a kind of um, atmosphere, see where we want it to go. You know? So yeah, this is our very first beat version of one, and there's nothing here. You can see our build menu, <laughs> even with some of these things are still in the game now. Like these things I knew would always go in. Some stuff being replaced. So yeah. As you can see, the heat is still in, the cut is still in, the dispenser, all that kind of stuff. Then we just had some practice around with the concepts, um, what things would do, like gloves. We don't have any output at the moment, purely just um, what would happen um, when stuff was coming out of the machines. We put, put on the belt to see what the idea was. We had research, but it was just an empty bar. We had market, but that was also just an empty bar. $10,000, IDC is up there. And yeah. Not much, but it was a proof of concept. Um, none of the machines work yet. And we have no factory, just some beams that I made as a, again, as a concept of maybe how high we wanted things. Um, no camera control, we've got zoom in, zoom out. That's about it. We didn't have the ability to replace anything. Um, can we do it with that? No. These are also old belts with broken textures because I was starting to learn how to do more complex textures myself. I can't remember what these three buttons do, seemingly nothing. Um, that was the original uh, disp um, end of line. I think I tweeted the graphics a bit. We were also gonna have a smelter. So I did all of this. But um, not ready to go in even still today as we expanded out in a different way. Um, we just got our outline ready. What we wanted the game to do, so we knew, oh sorry, I'll stop spinning knew that we wanted things to come out, go through a process, and then come out um, at the end of the line in a box. That would be the general core like the gameplay. Um, like I said, we just got things at the time, these were animated. So I think we'll bring back the animations again. Um, they were just killing some performance at some uh, time, so we decided we'd leave it for a bit until we were uh, happier with where the game was. Um, so that's on the list of things to bring back. Yeah, so we were the first five minutes. I think we may very well have different keys for different spawning of items. There we go, yeah. F. An early night vision that I made that I would like to get in at some point. Which is based on actually on a pair of night vision or a monocular that I actually have. Um, but um, not ready to go in the game yet. 
but yeah, I uh, spent a little while modeling that, texturing it. Um, and you could also, I don't know if you could move this around, but we could, you could move the stick in this early version um, and basically just spawn things where you wanted as a way to test. But as you can see at the bottom right corner, it's zero, uh, version 0.003. So you know, we're on version 48 now. I can't even begin to tell you how many different versions there are. Um, yeah, so I think there's some lighting in here that I might try and bring back. So I think I've, I've tweaked the lighting so much in the game that I might have to just go from scratch again and um, try and make it look the way it was. Because there's something about this that I really like, but in the current game, I'm too happy with it. Um, we also wanted like palettes on the boxes as well. To show you like where things have been stacked and we eventually would like to have like forklifts and stuff this is even in the version now but um in the version now we would like to do something like this but it's just so um, so much work to do you know so yeah so from this moment like obviously as you know we've grown into a heat of you know a good studio with a uh, really awesome team and it all spawned from this this tiny little concept and this tiny, tiny little idea and the idea really was, I played a few games similar, I saw that sort of factory management games are doing really well, and people really enjoy playing them, that was the main thing, like the people, oh, is there like an actual game genre for this kind of uh, situation? It's kind of, um, situation is the wrong word really, it's kind of a genre uh, that people like to play, is it an actual like, universe on its own? And I kind of thought it was after I saw like lots of games, I saw games like Big Pharma, a factorio and I thought you know what there's something something good here. Um, and it had a mix of like seeing Lord of War, War Dogs, um, cool stuff like cool films like that really and I thought you know what what if we mix the two? We've got a bit of War Dogs in there, get a bit of bit farmer, that kind of thing and we create your own um, create your own environment where you're producing and manufacturing firearms and that kind of stuff to um, you know set up basically. Um, and that was where the idea came from. Um, and <laughs> I've just found a little like error up there. God, it's so hard. I'm so sorry. The controls for the camera are just completely off. I can't remember them. Obviously, the lighting actually turns on the floor when I get quite far away. <laughs> so, yeah, we just had a massive over level. I think it just went forever. Like, just for absolutely miles. Um, but yeah, this is a very, very first look at Gunsmith version 0.03, and um, obviously we didn't launch with this. I think uh, next week I'll show you the launch version, but well, I'm completely lost now. I have no idea where it is because I, I can't pan the camera either. I also cannot uh, find where I was, so I'll just plant some stuff down here. We also had a really annoying cranking sound for the placement that I ended up swapping out. So that was it, we just had these, this was it, this was the beginning of our game, we had these core models and the, and the idea, and that was it. Um, don't think anything cost much either. No, only one thing where you would cost it. Like, oh yeah, the belts is taking money away from your cash, but you had no idea what was actually going on. Um, so yeah, I guess that's it, I've got one more minute left, so I want to kind of make them 10 minute videos as close as I can. Um, what I was going to say about this version is a long time ago and I can't believe that's where it all began. Um, looking back, back at it now, I can't believe how much work we've actually achieved. Um, and <laughs> just trying to talk and not leave, um, you know, dead air, but it's actually quite incredible when it looks like the version 0 0.03. I didn't even think I could get this working. Um, it's back working again now. Three years, almost three years down the line. We've come from this to what you see now in the trailer and on the screenshots, and um, yeah, what a crazy ride! So, that's the first video. Um, thank you for your support, everyone. Um, join the Discord if you haven't already. Feel free to come speak to us as we continue development. That's Gunsmith 0.003. See you soon.